Hello, fellow food lovers. Let's explore the wonderful world of food drying. It's a fantastic way to keep your favorite foods around for much longer. Drying concentrates flavors, adding a punch to your dishes. Plus, it's a fun and easy way to enjoy seasonal treats all year round. Drying food is like capturing sunshine in every bite. Think juicy strawberries transformed into chewy delights. Imagine crispy apple rings that make a healthy and delicious snack. Food drying is a journey of transforming ordinary ingredients into something extraordinary. Ready to dive in? Let's explore the wonderful world of food drying together. Fruits are superstars when it comes to drying. Think of plump grapes turning into sweet raisins. Imagine juicy mangoes transforming into chewy delights. Berries, apples, and pears are also excellent candidates for drying. Veggies can join the fun too. Tomatoes dry beautifully, intensifying their flavor. Onions and garlic become potent flavor bombs after drying. Herbs are perfect for drying, preserving their aroma and taste. Remember, not all foods are meant for drying. Water-rich vegetables like lettuce or cucumber don't dry well. Stick to fruits, veggies, and herbs that are ideal for this preservation method. Air drying is the simplest method. It's like nature's gentle touch preserving your food. Slice your fruits or vegetables thinly and evenly. A mandolin slicer can be your best friend here. Thread your sliced goodies onto a clean string. You can also use mesh screens or drying racks. Make sure there is enough space between each slice for air circulation. Find a warm, dry spot with good air circulation. Direct sunlight can fade colors, so a shaded area is ideal. Depending on humidity and airflow, air drying can take a few days. Aye. Section 4. Oven drying slow and steady wins the race. Your oven can be your drying ally. Set your oven to its lowest setting. You want gentle heat, not a baking frenzy. Arrange your food in a single layer on baking sheets. Prop the oven door open slightly. This allows moisture to escape, preventing steaming. Oven drying can take several hours, depending on the food's thickness. Check for dryness by feeling the texture. Dried food should be leathery or brittle, depending on the type. Remember, patience is key. Oven drying is a slow and gentle process. Section 5. Dehydrator drying. Your food's new best friend. A dehydrator is a drying superhero. It circulates warm air, drying food efficiently. Arrange your prepped food on the dehydrator trays, ensuring good airflow. Dehydrators have adjustable temperature settings. Follow the recommended temperature for the specific food you're drying. Drying time varies, but a dehydrator speeds up the process. Dehydrators are an investment, but worth considering if you're a frequent dryer. They offer consistent results and take the guesswork out of drying times. Enjoy perfectly dried treats every time. Section 6. Storing your dried goodies treasures to savor. Proper storage is key to enjoying your dried delights. Once your food is completely dry, let it cool thoroughly. Store in airtight containers. Glass jars or airtight plastic containers work well. Keep your dried treasures in a cool, dark, and dry place. Moisture is the enemy, so a pantry or cupboard is ideal. Label your containers with the date. Dried foods can last for months, even years, if stored correctly. Congratulations, you've mastered the art of food drying. Enjoy your homemade goodies in trail mixes, soups, stews, or simply as a healthy snack. Happy drying.